Hi, I'm Michael Ducey, Senior Manager of Managed OpenShift Black Belts here at Red Hat. And with me today is Nirav. Hi, this is Nirav Doshi, and I'm part of the Managed OpenShift Black Belt team. And today we are here to talk about Red Hat OpenShift Data Science. So we've heard a lot about AI, machine learning, data science. What specifically is Red Hat OpenShift Data Science? So Red Hat, uh, so companies these days invest a lot in um, AI workloads uh, and uh, they are doing good at it. But there are lots of challenges that comes with it, right? Like giving access to the developers, uh, giving the access in terms of hardware. Uh, there, there is security challenges. And many developers have diverse set of tool sets. So they can use uh, uh, some, some use different types of tool sets. So from a Red Hat OpenShift data science perspective, uh, what we have is uh, we, we have this Red Hat OpenShift data science offering which sits on top of managed OpenShift, which is a turnkey application platform. And with that, it can handle these diverse set of workloads uh, that a developer uh, needs in terms of uh, running their AI workloads. So kind of walk me through this. How does a developer or data science interact with OpenShift data science and, and, and kind of walk us through that workflow that we see with our customers? So uh, to walk you through that, I would like to take you through an, through, uh, an example, right? So Red Hat OpenShift Data Science uh, sits on top of managed OpenShift. Uh, and uh, for example, in our everyday lives, we de deal with banking, right? Like either you uh, basically deal with banks in terms of your credit card transactions, your banking, mortgage. So from a data science perspective, when the banks want to mitigate risk, they basically run these machine learning AI algorithms. For before. credit card fraud or accounts getting opened in your name. That's right. Various things. That's like right. That. So it all starts with data. So basically there are lots of transactional data uh, and there are lots of uh, geographic data that uh, basically data engineers uh, uh, prepare these data for a data scientist. So once the data is prepared, basically they, uh, the data scientist will uh, build these machine learning models, uh, uh, AI models, mm -hmm. and then they will work, the data scientist will ba basically work with the developers. So in this case, like for example, in the fraud detection, they will basically embed those models into some kind of int intelligent apps. That actually uses the model to make the decisions right. on the data. That's right. Okay. So, so you're basically And then finally, like you don't want your models to basically, uh, 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 you need to monitor your models because you need to make sure that there are right predictions that are being made. And so this allows kind of the data engineers, maybe if the data is dirty, they need to clean up the data so that the model works correctly. That's or uh, we learn new things, or maybe the new algorithm is developed. That's right. Where we want to actually change that, and then we go through this whole cycle. This whole cycle. So when you when you think about this whole cycle, basically, uh, yeah, the data scientists are used to different kinds of tool sets like Jupyter Notebook, uh, TensorFlow, uh, all those things are available basically into this data science, uh, uh, this data science offering, where they can not only use the tools in runtime but also from a data point of view, they can basically access, uh, there are tools to access data lakes, NoSQL, SQL kind of services. So it's very similar to the Red Hat product offerings around runtimes where developers have access to Java runtimes and uh, other runtimes that Red Hat provides. Uh, we're doing the same thing, but on the data science workload person That's right. as well. That's right. Yes. So what are some of the other benefits that you can see, not only from a developer's perspective? So I like this idea of helping uh, the data engineers and the data scientists and the developers stop kind of what I call tool chain thrashing mm -hmm. uh, around, you know, how do we provide access to these tools in a safe, secure fashion? But from an IT ops perspective, what are some of the benefits from an IT ops perspective around OpenShift data science? So, so there are uh, three three benefits, right? Typically, like uh, Red Hat is well known for their real uh, Linux system, and they and many companies don't think of it as a AI uh, AI ML kind of a company, 
so when we basically, what, uh, our CTO for the last five years uh, have basically nurtured a project called Open Data Hub. And within this Open Data Hub, there are 20 to 30 different uh, open source tools and uh, services that we now have basically brought that in form of Red Hat Data Science. So from an, uh, from an IT ops perspective, when you are running uh, Red Hat OpenShift Data Science on top of managed OpenShift, there basically you provide the infrastructure that is required to run these workloads uh, uh, so, so that the, your developer basically focuses on the, or the data scientist focuses on these. So the developer doesn't need to worry about it getting run in an OpenShift. They just go to Open Data Hub, they select Jupyter Notebook, and they can have that deployed easily. To yeah, so, uh, so the uh, Open Data Hub is, the, is a project which we have nurtured, and now we are bringing that to market in terms of Red Hat Data Science. So, so that, from that perspective, basically the, uh, they just need to install an operator and all the tools and runtimes that they require to build their models are there and they can start uh, start running it quick. For a lot of the IC ops people that I talk to, uh, hardware is a concern because GPU instances, for instance, in your cloud providers are very expensive. How can OpenShift and OpenShift data science help from that IT ops perspective? So from an IT ops perspective, basically um, uh, they can create controlled workloads, controlled environments or templates where they can basically, so when a data scientist spins, spins up a project, they get all the resources that are required and um, uh, it's a self-service model, so they don't have to worry about it. So if they are using managed OpenShift, from an infrastructure standpoint, we take care of that. Uh, for, for, from a developer standpoint, basically the, uh, if they require some GPU nodes, uh, those are already provisioned in, in form of te templates. So it, in a way, it is not only secure, but also controlled, uh, controlled so that um, uh, the developers just can focus on uh, creating their code. On creating the applications and I think also refining their algorithms so that yeah. they can actually make more intelligent business decisions. That's right. Overall. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to us about OpenShift Data Science. If you want to learn more about OpenShift Data Science, of course, feel free to visit our website at redhat.com. Thank you. Thank you, Nora. Okay.